I'm interested in what different states put on their license plates. Different states choose different little slogans, and I sort of keep an eye on that. Like Florida and Georgia put the county, in case these people forget where they live overnight. <laughs> Indiana says, wander. Sure, just get out and get hit by a fucking Greyhound bus. Pennsylvania went cutesy the last time. Pennsylvania now says, you've got a friend in Pennsylvania. Well, most of the people who read these things live in fucking Pennsylvania! Of course they'd have a friend or two by now. 30 or 40 years, you meet someone, you know? I just, well... The most dramatic license plate of all has to be New Hampshire's, which says, live free or die! <laughs> well, I'm certainly not going to move there. <laughs> I get just a little nervous in any state where they mention death right on the license plates. <laughs> on the other hand, Idaho says, famous potatoes. I guess those are the two extremes in thought. It would seem to me that somewhere in between live free or die and famous potatoes, the truth lies. Probably it's a little closer to famous potatoes. But that's just one fellow's opinion. And as long as we're talking about things that belong on the back of the car, things that are there to be read, Let's check our bumper stickers before we go out driving. Let's make sure we have enough bumper stickers on the car. You wouldn't want to get out in traffic and not have some reading material for the other drivers. <laughs> what on earth would people ever do at the red lights if it weren't for my handy rear bumper mobile library service? <laughs> and I have so many, I always have to check to see which ones are current. Let's see what I have on here today. Ooh. Kind of an intellectual bumper sticker. Honk if your horn is broken. That ought to hold the average American for about a mile and a half. <laughs> Here's a spiritual one. I've found him. I have Jesus in the trunk. <laughs> and of course, my favorite bumper sticker. I'd rather be driving. <laughs> Usually the guy who has that one is wearing a t-shirt that says, same shit, different day. What else do we see on the backs of these cars? I love my German Shepherd. I love your wife. And of course, a humorous license plate frame. We wouldn't want to wander too far from home without a humorous license plate frame. Mine says, my other car is a piece of shit too. And let's not forget the three most puke-inducing words that man has yet thought of. Baby on board. I don't know what valueless, soulless, yuppie cocksucker thought of that idea. No idea who. Baby on board. Who gives a fuck? I certainly don't. You know what these morons are actually telling us, don't you? I know you figured this out. They're actually saying to us, we know you're a shitty driver most of the time, but because our child is nearby, we expect you to straighten up for a little while. <laughs> Fuck these people. I run them into a goddamn utility pole. <laughs> right into a pole. <laughs> huh? Roll that car over, bounce that kid around a little bit. Let him grow up with a sense of reality, for Christ's sakes. Life doesn't change because you post a sign. I'm supposed to alter my driving habits because some woman forgot to put her diaphragm in. Isn't that really nice? Isn't that a real treat for me? Baby on board, child in car. Don't tell me your troubles, lady. Why don't you put up an honest sign? Asshole at the wheel! Asshole at the wheel. They don't sell many of them, do they? No. 
They give them away free with Volvos and Audis.